Boom shakalaka. This market indicator coincided with every previous market bottom. Could Bitcoin be $40,000 as soon as this chart suggests? Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why the recession is likely over, things are about to pump, and could Bitcoin seriously be $40,000 this soon. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, look at this right now. We are in greed. 55 on the fear and greed index have not been this high since March of last year, 10 months ago. Pretty historic, considering we were in extreme fear Oh, a couple weeks ago. The overall market sideways today, Bitcoin at 22.968, Ethereum at 15.80, BNB at 305, XRP 40 cents, Cardano 37 cents, Dogecoin 8 cents, and Polygon a dollar eight. Now, Bitcoin after breaking out of this falling wedge has broken back above $20,000 above all of these relevant moving averages, the 20, the 50, the, excuse me, the 50, the 100, the 200 day moving average. As a matter of fact, the last few times this orange average, the 200-day moving average, has gone from going down to going up. On average, 3,000% gains for Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin is temporarily stopped at where a lot of volume has changed hands, right around $23,000. If it does break through there and find some support, there's like nothing until $30,000. So that being said, what is this indicator that has corresponded or coincided with every market bottom. This is a net percent saying recession likely in the next 12 months based on the Bank of America Global Fund Manager survey. This has coincided with the 2009 and the 2020 bottoms, exact bottoms in the markets when it flips from a lot of people saying recession is likely to not anymore. And as we can see, recession expectations have now peaked among investors, likely meaning the worst is now over. Not only that, but the put to call premium. So the puts are the people betting on the market going down. The calls are the people betting on the market going up. We can see a very significant drop in this. This has provided fuel for a short term rally in the market. The put to call premium coming off record levels. Historically, when it comes off of high levels, we see significant market rallies. So, being how these levels were so high, we could see an absolutely enormous market rally from this as Bitcoin has finally broken above its macro downtrend. Soon, the bullish MACD close, close to crossing above the zero line, getting very close there to when things turn really bullish. We can see right now the ending of the bear market. All good things must come to the end. The trend is your friend until it ends. The most anticipated Bitcoin breakout in 2022, 2023 could be playing out right before our eyes. And everyone is still sitting on the sideways. They're like, I need more confirmation. I need more confirmation. This could be a bull trap. I'm in disbelief. I don't really trust what's going on with Bitcoin right now. Good. Wait on the sideline. Give me a chance to buy up more. As we can see right now, Bitcoin rainbow price chart reintegration. We can see that after a drop below the fire sale, the blue area for Bitcoin, Bitcoin managed to get back into the rainbow. It was actually below the Bitcoin rainbow price chart for a while. Did you dare scooping up some Bitcoin when it was below? Important question. And are you scooping up some now while it is still a fire sale, extremely discounted? Because those same voices you heard up here and up here saying, man, I wish I got in at $20,000. Bitcoin's $20,000 and change. Now's an opportunity. You might miss it yet again. November 28th turns out to be quite an important date for Bitcoin, the November 28th cycles theory. According to this theory, Bitcoin might have seen its bear market lowest low last November 28th. As we can see here, four-year cycles, one is the red all-time high, two is the bear market in orange, three is accumulation in green, and four is preparation in blue. Now we can see that corresponding with November 28th each year, we had the all-time high, and then we had accumulation bear market bottom. We had all-time high, bear market bottom, accumulation high, bear market bottom. Look at that, how it lines up. That could have done it once again for Bitcoin, because it appears, if we take a look, some hiking a sheet candles showing us the trend. The trend is your friend. Well, the downtrend is over. Got a green candle right here. 
looks like it's gonna be an uptrend. Now, I like what Stock Money Lizard says here. Who is not buying the bottom will not sell the top. That's right, because they're gonna wait until the top to actually buy in when everything is going full throttle yet again. I know it's hard to buy right now, or even when prices were lower, and even on the way up, it's hard to buy because you're waiting for a dip. But guess what? Still, a fire sale for Bitcoin. It turns out that Bitcoin has being le being been led by gold for a while. I had no idea until TechDev pointed this out. But check this out. Red dots, blue dots, green dots, orange dots, purple dot magnet. Now, based on this, we could have Bitcoin up towards $50,000 in the near future future if it just follows gold which it has done very very well now being bitcoin did lead gold a little bit right here back in 2018 unless you want to count this the peak and that's just kind of like a follow-up peak to it but ever since then gold has been leading bitcoin now gold just shot through previous what would be resistance just broke through there could bitcoin break through that resistance level getting it up towards 50 ish thousand because it's not that unreasonable. If we take a look at previous halving cycles, it turns out that each time during the halving, Bitcoin was at its fair value price. We can see right now, or the previous three halvings, Bitcoin was at this greenish, blackish dotted line right in the center for the halving. Right now, that line in the center at the halving is $40,000 by May of next year. But if that's too long for you to wait, check out this chart right here. Once Bitcoin breaks its POC line, which is where a lot of the trading goes on in the volume profile, we can see it breaks to the downside. Once it breaks to the upside, it goes way up to the VAH very quickly. Same thing happened here as well. Once it broke the POC, way up to the VAH very, very quickly. This was in a month it went all the way up there. So that being said, could we actually have Bitcoin, which just broke back through the POC recently, could it go all the way up to the VAH level within a couple months? Certainly possible. And if it did, we could have a $43,500 Bitcoin by April, a few months before sell in May go away and market crash. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching. It's a pleasure to spend this time with you every day. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. Never